Hello and everyone, if you may be watching now, later on on YouTube, and I forgot to turn on the light. Uh, yeah, now or later. Uh, Hillian here, along with... Dr. And welcome back for the second time now, the freaking Slime Rancher. Like, I did not expect this to go this long. I was expecting like four streams of this, and then we'd be done, but no, we're... We've put in more hours into this than some of our, well, Let's Play streams. 
Yeah, it, but rooms has it Bob who me what? Rumor has eats Bob human, please chicken. Okay, I, I take. I was about to say was it was taking a bit of time for me. Uh, right off the bat, though, something about the drone here. I, I know I complained quite a bit about these seemingly being pretty dumb, but they are actually smarter than I expected because they were. Last time, just after we ended the stream, it uh, plucked fruit from the tree again, fed these guys, specifically three, dropping in three for them, and the rest it brought over to the pink slimes. So, yeah. It'll collect what it can, bring it to whatever has it as a favorite, and the rest it brings to whatever else will eat fruit. Or whatever else it's assigned to. So, yeah. That which means that... Oh, I... Was that one completely filled, or...? Oh, you're here. Yep, that was completely filled. Uh, which means that, uh, yeah, again, the, the drone has proven me wrong and it is a lot more useful than it, it seems. If you're going to be that grumpy, just get in there. Actually, All right. you two can figure those out yourself. And I think we have plenty of tabby and rocks in here. Uh, yep, but uh, probably better tap to me. Uh, you were about to make a tower by accident. No, because there are rocks and you know, tabbies in there, so yeah, they'll just more make two more lagos. Yeah, I realized that the quite quickly your save of relief. Let's see. I'm, I think I want to put up one of these teleporters right at the end here, so that whatever th there might be uh, hidden there won't be just... Well, for one, it'll make it a lot easier to go back and forth between there. But, yeah, I think that might be the actual end game. Or the end of the game. Let's also grab that. Because, yeah, that's... The Gordo Snare is supposedly the, a way to easily get a bunch of extra... <clears throat> a bunch of extra uh, yeah, slimes of a specific type uh, in exchange for a bunch of food of that type, but okay. Uh, let's see. Warp tech. We can make the teleporters, yeah? And okay, so okay, I'm guessing that means that I have both ends of it now, so I don't need to fabricate two at once or two to just have it work. It says a number next to them, so I hope that's te saying that's how many you have. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, that's what it does with these here. And speaking of, I should oh. probably make a few of these. Now, the, the idea was as well for me to put down some teleporters in this area. To have just quick and instant access to uh, the areas where we can put these down, except for the pump, since we have so easy access to that here, though we could just be lazy with that as well. <laughs> and speaking of, we should probably go and look if we can empty a few things. Um, is this thing overpopulated? Oh. Actually, only one at the moment. These guys, do they have feeds? They they don't have food. Okay. Let's just give them a quick feeding. Then we go uh, then we'll go check our yeah, check our extractors. And after that, probably more exploring in the de in the glass desert. Because there's still some things there that we haven't found. Okay. Oh and <laughs> okay, perfect timing. To have another reason. Wait, what the heck did we do to unlock that? I think it's supposed to be time-based with some of these things. Like, X amount of days after buying uh, one of these things, and now we're back to only 2,000. Yet it means you're not meant to rush the game at all. Yep. So, 
Am I being, what I mean, been taking a bit slow? We still have to feed these to something. Um, let's see, we... Let me think for a moment. Actually, up. Oh, Arkden wants some stuff here. Two mint melons and four pogo. It's ten minutes. Uh, we have mints over there, so let's go grab that quickly. Yes, I am getting distracted, but this will be a quick distraction for once, hopefully. Yeah, usually you get distracted and forget to the missions. Yep. So this time it's better that I get distracted by a mission. Exactly. Oh, oh, come. Oh. It seems that they got, they got their hands on Quantum Floor. One of the Quantums got in. Well, uh, so much for Ink and uh, Oscar then. Actual Ink! Uh. Actually, I don't know what actual Pen Ink is made of. I'm pretty sure Pen Ink is not made of Squid Ink. No. Ah, uh, well, we were going to have to replace those sooner or later, probably. Or at least put them somewhere else. So, we, we were thinking about combining the hunter slimes with uh, honey slimes to make them a bit more easy to get our plorts. Since, well, they want roosters to feed on. And, well, roosters are... It, did that one just phase through the coral? Or through the wall? Anyway, uh, as I was going to say, oh, <laughs> uh, let's uh, not condemn you to eternal imprisonment in your retirement there, even though that is technically what retirement homes are all about, seemingly. Uh, but, uh, yeah, what was I saying? Well, we need these for Ogden. Yeah, we were going to make Hunter honey slimes to make them more easy to deal with getting their plorts because yeah honey slimes are just plain easy to deal with just feed them their mint mango and they get double of both and these guys need to we need to mix these with something still and i'm thinking maybe honey as well because like i said they are easy as all hell and okay got it <laughs> it's, it's, it was trying to force it, it. It was trying to force it into a place where it take up the same space as a as the wall here, which would, was causing it to glitch out and move around. And we need that. What's the wall here? Uh, apparently, my internet is fluctuating, affecting not only the screen but also. Yeah, my voice lines here. Going to dump these in the corner for a moment. Actually, I probably should have done that with the honey ports. What is going on? Mm -hmm. Okay. Steam is not unloading. Okay, let's feed them. Yeah, let's put an auto feeder on it anyways. Uh, good. Not that. Okay. This is the one I want. Okay, pull all of that in. Oh, oh right, it's a storm outside. Or something. Yeah. Uh, that would explain why there might be interference. Yeah. Uh, For you... Occasionally, your voice are crackling up like a techno. Okay. Well, it seems to be some... As I said that, they went to orange and not green again. A bunch of chickens. Well, speaking of chickens, we need to empty that coop out. Okay, let's see... There, we have a few more. <laughs> we have a few chickens to bounce off the wall, it seems. And we have a few elders to deal with. Okay. The elder chickens. Okay. Put these quickly into their retirement. And. Uh, yeah, I guess. 
I could have just fed the... <laughs> could have just fed the honey plorts to the hunters there as well. Hmm. But yeah, we... We want the, as many drones as we can as well at the moment, so... Oh, we, we do need to keep in mind that these will go feral the moment that they become Largos. And... We will need to feed them as well then. Okay, so... Yeah, they are the ones we definitely want drones for. Unless they attack drones. And then we just feed them, and that should tame them for a while. And there we go, double hunter plorts. Now let's just drag those in. We'll, de we'll deposit this at Oh, now they are starting. Um, ow. Just... Oh yeah, now we feed one of them and they I should have stopped at that. Quickly drag those in before they all start. Uh, well, you have some food there, grab that instead. Is I think we may need a net on top. Yeah, there already is. Um, you are grumpy. I completely miss. Okay, take a chicken. There. And we still have enough breeding stock. Okay. Uh, yeah. How did those end up here? Anyway. That coop also needs to be emptied. And uh, yeah. Drones, extractors, glass desert. That is basically what is on the schedule for today. And let's put a few in there. Not too many. Because we don't know how many we might need in the desert. Is that enough for another... Wild honey and hexacomb. Okay. So... Yeah, we have a few apiaries out there, so let's go check on those as well. Uh, did he? Let's see, we have the... We have the drill there still. The one that we put too far away from the teleporter, we thought we, because we thought we were <laughs> being smart with it all. And, okay, now the rest of those are starting to turn. Because they're getting food. And there's ports. Uh, they, they'll eat fruit, so they should eat this as well. It's not their favorite, but it'll do for now. <laughs> Probably sh I should have planned this a bit more and kept more of the mint mangoes with me. So, okay. Let's just put those in there. That should keep them happy, hopefully. Yeah, at least stop them moving from going in, I can see us moving them to the other area, in a cage. They just have the drones feed them all. Yeah. Like, we can probably... We can probably, as the lab is at the moment, we can probably keep it as is. Uh, we'll just need to... Uh, yeah, we'll need a second drone there. We'll, need, we'll still need to collect... From what I thought, I heard the uh, tar noise there. But we'll still have to collect the plorts manually because we one drone can only do one thing at a time. So we can set one up to feed fruit and the other to feed vegetable. That should feed all of them. Yeah. And uh, even the... Okay, I can also need to do that too. Uh, so yeah, that, would, that should feed all three of them. And so unless we get our hands on advanced drones, which would be a lot of grinding, from what I've heard. Uh, so yeah, we'll need to keep working on that manually, and we are one plot short of another apiary. Um, the oil, well, you want I, want to trust, I, I want to try at least one of these. Primordi oil and hexacomb for the... not the refinery to me. Okay. We, we just want to set down as many of those extractors as we can to speed all of that up. And just to double check. Um, yeah, I'm harvesting all of that on the way back. Because we want to keep our inventory mostly open. Probably should have put the plorts in storage, but I'm not turning back now. 
<laughs> that way. Uh, yeah, we we won't have to put down a teleporter to this area because over there has plenty of spaces. The bad rock. Okay. Ow. Okay, I jumped into that one fully. That was my fault. Let's... Where did we... There it is. Just happily dancing away. Okay. In 12 minutes it'll be done again. We should... I should keep a timer of sorts. Let's see. In the half hour mark, all of these should be done again. And Okay, we can open this one up. And this is going to give... Crystal cloth. I was expecting that. These things, the ones of these that stands near. Uh, nope, that's a tar I'm hearing. Hopefully, this will stop the game a bit so I can mark down where we found this one and cross it out. Okay. I'm not going 100% with these things, but I am keeping track of where they are. So we can at least gather as many as we can. Look, I was all expecting when you remove the map, the words we are tall right in front of your face. Uh, wouldn't have been surprised. Yeah, it would be interesting to see just to hear your uh, first jump scare. Or, wait, tell me if you have the jump scare before. I think so. Minty grass pads. Okay. No tars here to be a pest. And this is in the main chamber. I didn't actually have this one noted. Because, well, mostly we've been running straight past it and jumping over it. The grass looks quite nice. Okay, drop all of this off and. Then we can go collect all of this and sell it, because these are our most valuable plorts at the moment, I think. And... Hmm. Why is it a heavy plort here? Oh, wait, that, that's one of the ones I drone out of it, and... Here we might... Now you might get to see the, the drone doing its work. Or we saw it do half of its work last time. Why did... I did drop off five now. Last time I dropped off three. And yeah, as you can see, it brings the rest to the pink slimes. There we go. So yeah, like I said, better than I actually ever expected. <laughs> actually, let's just collect all of this here. Not a lot, but enough to make another thing. I need to put it in there, not in the synthesizer itself. Uh, oh wait, I could have put these down. Oh well, let's get another apiary. And we quickly go set up the, <laughs> the drills that we still have. Then we check on the, uh, on the entrance again. Uh, silver parsnips. We have no interest in those because the, those are feeding the guys over here. And yeah, once we've set that up, we can go check the overgrowth and set down a teleporter there. Actually, probably could have set up a teleporter right there at the lab to start with. There. Yeah, you probably should have. Let's see. Real. There. So, yeah, sell these plorts. Get rid of these. Actually, yeah, we can't drop it. There's no small of you left. So. Oh, well. I'll just throw out whatever parsnips we pick up along the way with this. I don't know, I don't think we're angry. 
Nope. They, they are being smarter than the rats, uh, Phosphorus. Yeah, I guess if it was not extra good we put them in here, then whether they blow up, we stay in here. Oh, yeah. wait, by blow up, I mean that. Uh, spin around in a small tornado. Basically, they spring and they plot input everywhere, so everyone can eat. Oh, yeah, but they still do that for some reason. Okay, and that's a full load. We should clear out the coop there as well at some point, but for now, we have our schedule. These guys are turning, or half of them are not interested, it seems. Well, there we go. So about 16 with each of those, and then 70 with these. Yeah, good profit. Copper <laughs> frost. Wait, and what? Crest. No, cheat, maybe it's time. Yeah, 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 shut up. Okay, they want three hunter plorts, a dervish plort, and five pinks. Okay. Easy. First. Pump. What the heck happened to you? Oh, mm -hmm. you're in build mode. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Everyone still has a bit to go. Poison. What, poison with a techno virus or something? More like you'd be sorry if you got attacked by a new slime. Right, the turn. Since we're passing by here, anyways. There we go. And now I hope I expect there to be techno slimes in the next game. There are glitch slimes in Victor's uh, sli sli Slimulation, which is the third minigame that you can access. I think we spoke of that last time as well. <laughs> you know, basically, if we get a. If we get another uh, request from him completed, then he should give us access to that. Okay. Warp tech pink. It will stay inactive until we put down the other one, for which we are, well, headed towards the overgrowth. Um, let's see. Wait, is not not a hunter plort? What? Oh, it's a tabby plort they want. Okay, that makes it even easier to complete. Okay. And we might as well clean this one out then. Get out. It's another oh, elder. And there we go. A diverse diet for our hunters. <laughs> As for you, you can wait over there for a bit. Okay. Now, heading towards the... Uh, <clears throat> yo, not the, the moss blanket. I keep mixing those, that and the... Uh, the overgrowth together, and since we need pink ports anyways, we might as well grab as many as we can find before these gluttons eat them. And yes, I'm just going to grab as many pinks along the way as I can carry as well. Yeah, but I've seen them use the far over pinks. Yeah, they, they are basically the all-around material, like it said in the slime I'm guessing it's... I'm guessing the, the pink ports are a bit like uh, plastic. And you can use it for basically anything. Well, most anything. Let's throw these out. Because you are reasonably valuable. 
Okay. Apiaries. Oh, just too late. <laughs> Not for you, though. Okay. Moss blanket for the apiaries. Uh, teleporter. Careful not to get knocked out here. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll see how much we can, how many extra drones we can make with what we have. Probably one at best. And then we head to the glass desert to see how much more of the desert we can revitalize. Okay. Actually, I should not have built my inventory, though then again, we are about to put down a teleporter here. Um, there's only three spots here. And also one up there. So how many are there over here? As I mentioned uh, earlier, we're going to notice the plate. Yeah. I sort, of, I sort of feel like the games and the media started to distort my mind in of the term of elder. How so? Elder god, elder dragons and such. Elder things. Yeah. Oh! Dangerous things of late we hear here with the Elder title, so... Yeah, the fact that when I think of Elder Chicken, I think of them in a dramatic, scary way. Oh, okay, we can only have six at a time installed, okay? Nice bit of info. Makes sense. And, yeah, let's drop off all of this here. And should that be enough for... Yep, ball pit, which is to get into a corral with 40 slimes. Yeah, that's why I was collecting them as well. Okay. Uh, we have enough apiaries at the moment, so let's put down some more pumps. Actually, uh, we need more honey still. Mm. These roostros, yeah, let, let's just sort these up real quick. And that's the save icon. Actually, might stick these up here and well as well for the moment. Just in case we get something, uh, we get uh, extra stuff from the APRs. Those are still busy. It's these ones over here that we want. Buzzwax, hexacone, no royal jelly. Well, yeah, there we have bit, and there we have tar. There we have tar. Big lens. Okay. And this should be enough for another drone. And then glass desert. So for once today we are keeping on target. It, for a moment it looked like the, the tabby was already buzzing straight towards us. <laughs> okay, I'm curious of how much the uh, how much of the ranch is kept in active is kept active while we're away? And there we go. Oh, sure. um, wait. Oh, it. Oh, okay. That's a good little visualizer to say that it's out of power. Wait, what? Where did Teddy go? I just shook him with water. Uh, anyways. Wait, did you hit it with water? Yeah, I hit it with water, but that shouldn't have hurt it. Okay. Let's see. Uh, we have vegetables growing over there, I think. Yep, we do. Okay. So, targets, veggies, source, gardens, destination, and not silos. Coral, corrals. 
Activate. Now it should go and feed the tabby, you know, the rock tabbies, and then feed the rest to the pinks. It'll take a bit longer than the other, but oh well. And we'll still leave one type of mixture that we'll need to put up somewhere. The honey boons. Because we need honey honey plorts and boom uh, plorts for ex making extractors as well. Then again, we have a few mixed up with honeys. Oh, we have a few mixed up with honeys already. So we'll, yep. we'll, we might be good on that. And we also have the crystal sla crystal uh, booms over there. Uh, oh, yeah, but, uh, did you do Victor's quest? Uh, let's, yeah, it's Mochi's uh, who wants it. And she wants slime, and she wants pink, she wants tabby. We already gave her the dervish one. And we should have enough time to hand this in. And hopefully next request will be one from Victor. All right, then. It was yeah, good that you remind you. <laughs> One short. Okay. What I was to do with you? Actually, I don't need... <laughs> okay, I shot that one in mid-air with its own port. Let's see. Uh, we need to check up on the fire slimes. They might have run out of food. Or they might have run out of ash. But we didn't we didn't feed it dervish. There should be plenty of those still here. You back down. Okay, there's a good bunch here. We can grab these up for sale. Yeah, they really just scatter them around, but it also makes it easier to find them, actually. Because they... They seem to always make more than we can actually carry. Yeah, they definitely make more than we can carry. <laughs> That'll be enough. All right. Yeah, we, we get plenty of crystals from these guys. We just have to... Yeah, we'll have to put down a drone here to feed them as well. Still, Elder Hand, the most yeah. dangerous of them all. There we go. Okay, some potatoes and not really too useful. Eh, it's food. And yeah, it clears the boards. Okay. Uh, let's see... I think... Yeah, they, they count as vegetables, so these guys should eat them. It's a bit of extra food for them. And these guys can get some more lands. That'll hold us a bit more. Uh, oh. Well, I thought it was already exact uh, sending a new one. That's what we want. You soon will be on this planet for a month. Okay. Um, How does it feel? We should probably. Yeah, we should put, set up a teleport. Do we have enough to get one of the other teleporters? Because otherwise we'll be running back and forth a long distance, even with the teleporter here. We'll get to the desert every time. I just realized something here. 
You could have soon been here for 40 days. Yeah. How many times has she, has she been sleeping? Not many. So I'm, I'm, guessing she, I'm guessing she might have been using uh, those uh, Tavi supplements. Oh, God. Mixing that with coffee? That would probably keep someone awake for like 100 hours straight. Bloody uh, okay, but I'm sorry for her. Okay, we don't have a teleporter to set down there. We'll do that another time. Now we know the routes to take. And well, we get this nice music again. Ah, oh, peaceful, ancient ruins, peaceful music, aggressive powers. I keep forgetting about this one. Yeah, we definitely need a teleporter. And there's actually still a key hidden here somewhere. Well, yeah, we were trying to, try to hunt down all the damn keys, weren't we? Mm. Now, I'm not entirely sure if it's required, though. Then I think that there's, there probably is going to be another slime door somewhere behind, well, where we've already reached. So we'll just have to see how far we come. Now, yeah. so here, then across, and then we can jump to the second half of this. I'm not going to jump when I only have four energy. And that opens that. And let's see. Okay. This <laughs> is <Just> charge. <laughs> or, well, move from the sound of it, it's charge, they charge to get chicken. We want to just get eaten. Yeah, I cannot, I cannot remember. What did, what did she just made out of? Crackers or something? <laughs> crackers? It, it, whatever that makes that kind of crunchy sound. Toast? Uh, yeah, it's them squawking as well. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get this the bird, but there's a, there's a very, how do you say, more interesting crunch sound to it as well. Yeah, they, they, they all make that when they, that comes from the slime itself. They always make that sound when they're eating something. Okay, but this should, this should be the second last time that we make this run. Next time we will bring a teleporter along. Can we open this one now? Yes, we can. And this is going to be a rock pile. Oh, advanced Gordo snare. Okay. It's later. Okay, that is in this chamber. We already found this one, so we can now cross it out. I'm, I'm definitely going to make more physical maps with games. There's, there's just something about it, seeing it fill up with uh, notes. And well, it'll make a nice souvenir for after we're done with it. Oh, yeah! Okay, we know one statue over here, actually. Let's... Right. Okay, yeah, there's no... We could probably parkour around the wall here a bit, but I'm not going to do that when I'm carrying tangle cords and roosters. Let's see. Okay, we missed all of that. Hmm. Yeah, we, we, ha we actually have no idea where on the freaking planet all of this is. This is just sectioned in. Because, yeah, it's somewhere on the planet. Maybe not even the same planet. 
No. Oh, it there. has the same day and night cycle, so it is probably still on the same planet somewhere. Okay, we have that spot. And we have another here. And oh there's the there it is. How do I how do we get up there? Well you can steal. And when you publish 215, you raise your hand up and scream, I'm Iron Man. There, there's a certain limit that the jackpack will bring you up. You can see it here, oh. not bring you up any higher. Oh. What? 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 And there's Tor already. There was. Hmm. There was another statue, I think. There should be another statue somewhere where we can feed. I have to go now. We forgot to check on the fire slimes. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, well, I. Well. Timing. We'll probably get a few new ones here because I'm guessing that those are probably dead then by now. Okay. Even the chickens are running for cover. But they're all chickens. <laughs> True. And there's the first touchdown. Yep. Yeah. Right on top of our ass. Watch out for the green. Any fire? Okay. Oh, hello. I was about to ask any fire slams, and then one drops out right behind us. Yep. There. Oh, I didn't even see that there was one here. And there's another one. And there's two more. And one of them dies. Yeah, if they stay out of the heat for too long, they will just die. Okay. We know where that Gordo is, but where is the rest of the mechanism? We climbed this thing before. I'm not entirely sure we saw one of those things up here. And there it is. Small detour. You are a dervish, so you want fruit. Yeah, they are very obviously going to be sitting on Willow. Treasure pot over there. Yeah, he's obviously going to be sitting on another key. So yeah, we're going to we're going to need to stock up on fruits. And I'm yeah, just checking the, here out of curiosity. Is there any fruit in the crystal desert? A glass desert, I mean? Wrong franchise? Uh, there's this. No, the silver parnips are vegetables. Part of cactus. Okay. And I don't think that the tar can get to us here. So let's see. Uh, that's about here on the map. Because the printed version has the crystal desert still. Uh, hidden or not the accurate data on it, so we have to sort of guess at the distances. Um, let's try and get back here and see if there is a receptacle for Florida up here. Oh, okay, that, it's another one of those springs. That, that's actually what we've been needing. Up. Just short. 
Donc. É aqui. Hum? Até donk. <laughs> okay, so maybe, maybe we actually activated the mechanism because the, in the previous one, uh, yeah, the fountain only started after we activated all of the uh, receptacles. Okay. Ancient water. Then we quickly run around. There. No time to watch everything grow. There. And I think that's it for this direct area. more some another spot somewhere around here or, no hmm. i just realized something that could have been terrifying now uh, what then you shoot a, a tour with injured water and it becomes ancient tour <laughs> yeah that probably would have been bad let's see we have some polar fruit here but that's probably not going to help much Yeah, we'll just have to fill up when. What is their? What is the Dervish's favorite actually? Let's see, prickle pear. We we haven't found any prickle pears yet. And that sounds like a fruit. Yeah, it sounds like a cactus. From a, like it'd be from a cactus, or actually, I th we might have found prickle pears at one point, but had to leave it behind for some slimes to bring along instead. Let's just check around. Wait, hold on, you have to walk past from something. And there's the... It's Pogo. Oh. It's just a... a him chicken coop. <laughs> and a dancing tabby. See, I'm... My guess is that prickle pears would be growing from these things or something. Hmm. Let, let's just take a look around, see if we can find any, that we can plant them to make it all easier on ourselves. Okay, that looks quite nice. <laughs> it's a tabby dervish. No. We should maybe at one point see what all of the combinations that we can make. That'd be interesting, actually. And it's a silver parsnip. We already have that. Um, okay. Well, we know... We also have this area still. And we're near a teleporter now. So... Yeah, it's a one-way trip, though. And, yeah, we didn't actually need the tangle plorts. So... Okay, there's another one over there. We can probably get that with the with the fountain over here. So let's do that quickly. Uh, water. Mm. There's probably more mechanisms that we have to activate somewhere to activate another. To yeah. activate another uh, fountain for the next area for revitalization. So, I'm not sure what we might get, if anything, other than satisfaction for uh, revitalizing the desert. And yeah, we're not going to make it with this. Maybe if I'd saved up my energy a bit more, but no. Unless. That works. <laughs> you raced it in the well long. Well, it wasn't as much as reaching as just shooting randomly and hoping one would hit. Oh, hello, a mosaic slime. Uh, that means that there is a mechanism uh, that there's probably a fountain somewhere here. For a second, 
we're almost fed in the tangled forest there. But we need to find some fruit. Yep. Yep. Nope. <laughs> Wrong one. I don't think we want to burn down the oasis we just created. <laughs> Give me those before he gets them. Nope. No. Oh well. We got one and... Uh -huh. Oh, the mosaic slime again. That could have landed up with us falling into the slime sea there. Yeah! Oh. Come on. I thought I had one of the ports. And that's tar forming. And that's a pink dervish. <laughs> Joining his pattern in the sea again. Okay. At least we have this one separate here. And he's not interested in food at the moment, it seems. Okay. Come on, just eat it, you. He's not going to be interested for a bit. So... Let's see, what else is around here? Keep an eye on our footing. It's not so. And actually, not that much here. Just two more areas for revitalization. And again, there might be something hidden underneath here. Okay, like has a he had his fill? No, that is not a bigger gold version of yourself. It sort of is, but it's a rock version. <laughs> Am I going to have to bully you with this thing for a half an hour? Any here? Don't know what that happened was there. Let's just grab a bunch of these guys. This one's going to be picky with his fruits, and another might not be. Oh, there we go. Come on. Okay. There has to be something somewhere. Let's check out this hole here. Carefully. Oh, there's a treasure down there. Uh, and there is some flooring down there. And there's a fountain. Okay. But it does come with the risk of falling into the slime sea. So yeah, we are not getting we are not going down there when we are carrying cargo. We are going to mark down the pond. That's about here. Okay, now let's just head back. And some of the extractors should be done by now. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, yeah turn out to die now, but pal. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was double checking the height. So, any pairs now, possibly? I'm pretty sure we found some at one point. I don't think we, no, I don't think we even found a pair. Actually, there's only one way to figure it out. Open Slimepedia. Yeah. Resources, odd onion. Okay, yeah, it looks like we haven't found any at all. We're still missing something there as well. Hmm. Okay, so where do you find those things then? Like the dervish slimes are hanging around here, so you'd expect to at least a few to be found here. Unless these yeah, guys have been eating all of them. 
Yeah, but one would expect that to be grow on a cactus eye. Uh, cactus eye. Cacti is the correct term. Cacti? Uh, Wait, was it getting hurt from being inside the area here? Okay. So, this, these things are harmful to Tar. Hm. Or they appear to be, at least. So, we have a Tar safe zone? Sort of. It hurts them, but it, they didn't instant kill it. Uh, wait, look behind you there. Uh, I saw it, but looked like a very flowery cacti up on that cliff you were on. Yeah, this thing here, I, I saw it as well, and I jumped up and put, it's just a bush. Oh. And we have another firestorm. An odd bush, actually. And we got this here again and here. But uh, let's just get out before we get burnt. Yeah. A little bit, a little sunburn haven't hurt anyone. Uh, well, sunburn has hurt plenty of people. Okay, I know. Bob, you just want food. Okay, a bunch of chickens. It was butter mash it. I wonder if we will get a special side quest of meme story with Bob. Hmm. Bit doubtful. I forgot to send one of you guys over there. Okay, sorry, Oldie. A uh, bit boring if it not sense. Go on. We have slimes that speak. Uh, speak uh, horribly, but yeah, they they no, not really speak. I think it's more typed. Yeah, we should probably put the... Actually, we, I doubt putting these things in a coral would work, specifically because of that. And... They go through these things quite quickly, the, the auto-feeders, that is. Much better way to clean those up instead of just leaving them to lie around. Oh, yeah. I think we might. I think we might just be red, good on honey floors no matter what. Oh, and, you... Yeah, I'm expect. They're good. They're not dead. Okay. I was fully expecting them all to be dead here, and though, yeah, they are completely out of ash. Um, where can I fire you to... Okay, that won't bounce you out. Some toothpaste mango! There we go. The rest go to you guys. Nom 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 nom. I kind of give up because me the boom slimes with fire slimes. Yeah, then we then we'd have napalm slimes. Yeah. <laughs> Has it been active at all? Uh, auto feeder. There we go. Now we get ourselves the fire lords. Ow. Should have expected that. Yes, Helian. Fire burns. Fire hurt. Very painful. Oh. Um. Wrap it. And he's already dead. Oop. You get back in there. Ow. 
Okay, I know you might like me, but I do <laughs> want a hug. There we go. And I'll leave those lying around for a bit because these are more useful to us. It's quite a bunch that they actually left behind. Next. That should have us set for porch for a bit, boat for sale, and for the slime science. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, may maybe I could actually mix uh, tango slimes with quantum slimes, then I can have them just roaming around without being a risk of escape or causing tars. That sounds like a recipe for disaster. Yes, imagine how much harder it is to avoid getting them turned into tar by accident, like if you accidentally drop a plot. They're gonna snatch it. Yeah, but at the very least we're always carrying water around. Okay. Not even sure if we use these for much here. Okay. How are we on that? Uh, let's put these in as well. Might as well. They all are quite good on money. Yeah. And... Oh, they are both out of water? Okay. Yeah, I guess they would run out quite quickly to make them a bit... to make them not too overpowered. Okay, yeah. Uh, you guys just sitting on a throne of your own plorps? <laughs> How did this happen? Um, I'm guessing they've been well fed by that drone there. <laughs> and someone wants to come along, it seems. Because they're desperately trying to get into the vacuum. <laughs> they want to rock. Oh, rock. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, we, we missed the actual impact there, but I bounced him all the, another tabby. Okay, oh, let's empty that out. <laughs> Already it's full again. <laughs> okay, we're not even going to sell these. We're just going to throw these in here to quickly... ...to quickly empty that out. <laughs> the drone is working a bit too well, I think. Is this thing actually set to upgrade it? <laughs> actually, let's put a scare slime on this just to show it off. And yeah, this is it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> now, where's one of the... There's one of the tabbies. Okay. Um, a bit overshot. No, it should run away from the from that hit. Yeah, it actually there it goes. A bit delayed. This goes a bit sliding around. Seriously, that run is doing a bit too well in here. <laughs> No, <laughs> now it's a, it's a tabby plort, so no risk of this one becoming a logo as well. Uh. And I'm going to guess that the moment that I you know, fill up on this again, the moment I press this button again, it's going to fill up completely. Just almost, almost. <laughs> Well, we are at least well, well, yeah, we have quite a lot of plot that we build materials at the moment. Yeah. We have 200 of them both. Okay. Now let's check. 
uh, hexacomb, spiral stream, hexacomb. And we need honey. Let's see. Primordial oil. Product That's a utility? A cactus found in the glass desert that slammed on that end can stick to for a short while. Okay. Pepper jam? The heck is pepper jam? That well, must be another thing that we're missing. Wait. Uh, let me explain to you. Well, being actually a real thing. It's jam made of pepper. Yeah, I could <laughs> guess that. Part. Pepper. <laughs> I th I'd probably try that. No. Uh, you know what? If you're gonna try that, do it on stream. Uh, I'd have to get my hands on some first, but I actually, I, I really like spicy stuff. Uh, it's. Uh, Same. I don't like. It, I probably don't like the ones where like ghost pepper and such. But I like when it's a little bit of spice and such. And oh. yeah, I do use the. Uh, Sriracha for omelette, so... Never bought those. Sriracha? Uh, no, the upgrades there, and I probably oh. should have not have fed all of those today. Let's see, dryer, luchador, and normal chicken. Uh, can I still get a few out of here? That's the stone ones. For some reason, that hunter wasn't interested in chicken for a moment. There we go. Just half an hour still. Okay, Bob is very patient. Well, Bob are very patient. And the briar and painted hens are over this way. Oh dear. Okay, another elder. Well, I can say this. I am kind of okay that the slime rancher has been going on for as long as it has so far, and it's hard to not smile when playing this game. Yeah, we are short on briar hands at the moment, it seems. Uh, we probably should have put some in here. We have more than enough stony hands that we probably ever need. And again, every time someone says that, they are quickly enough proven wrong. We have another spare of you. Mm. Uh, yeah, we might... I... I'm not sure if I'd want to risk... We could just put in our one briar hen. But let's not. For now, collect you again. And there was another... There you are. We do know where we can find them. Yeah. Oh, hello. Sorry. <laughs> I'm stealing your boyfriend. <laughs> let's see. Why did we have some of these stored in here? Probably just to make room in our inventory. Yep. Other than that, we have this. And we might as well throw these at someone here. Hmm. Okay, deposit all of this where it's needed, where it's useful. And then we go look, check out. Then we go check on our extractors. Um, yeah, I guess we should... After that, we can go back to the glass desert after we have made another teleporter, because we... I'm not, I'm not sure how long that took, but it took probably far longer than it should have. And yeah, we're just going to put a teleporter in the glass desert. Actually, could we get special stuff from the desert? Uh, let's see. That's a good question. Extractors. Special in the dry reef. All extractors can spe find special resources in the glass desert. Okay, so yeah, we want we definitely want one over there. 
Ooh. And yeah, we'll, we'll change, actually, if we change those up with uh, quantum tangles, quantum entanglements, <laughs> that would make, that's a pun I only now realize. Uh, then we would have to move the uh, we'd have to move the elder chicken somewhere else, probably to the grotto. Not just uh, you know. Let them be eaten by quantum entanglement. <laughs> yeah, why not? All right, but uh, their feathery blood is on your hands then. We could otherwise roast them up if you want. I, th I think there is an achievement for throwing an elder chicken into an, in into an incinerator. So, uh, might as well test that out. <laughs> okay, that one is on your hands! You are sort of hoping to come out with a green chicken now. <laughs> Carousel. What? <laughs> Same on that. <laughs> Wait, it, it, I think I think I heard the, the, the term "life is like a carousel" or something, but no. Yep. I think my brain broke. Where am I? Uh, drug gear. Oh, hey, drug gear. <laughs> you know what's that? Yeah, that, that, that. Yeah, it would make sense of what has actually broken my brain. Good. Before we go, we need we need both a teleporter and enough fruit to definitely satisfy that dervish. Yeah. And I think we should probably look up what the heck carousel has to do with roast chicken. It's achievements. Upper crust, 100,000 new bucks, okay. Uh, uh, carousel, incinerated outer chicken. Not actually anything <laughs> more than that. And you... Back there. Okay. Yeah, the quantum slimes not to... I simply wonder if they worth having. Considering the troubles they seem to be causing. Yeah, they're not really causing much trouble, they're just moving around a lot. And, well, at least they're in an, in an area where they're safe to move around. Yeah. Okay. You should probably give them some... Oh, wait, they have something else to like over there. Yeah. There's no more ones. Uh, where was... We need to check on the extractors. Uh, yeah, let, let's just drop this off for a moment. We're going to take these with us for the dervish. And yeah, by now all of the... It would help if I did that first. <laughs> by now all of the extractors should have another... Uh, <clears throat> another... Uh, sample? No. Another batch, right? Batch is the word. Yeah, and don't forget, you need to find our chicken for Bob. Yeah. Okay. Alright, oh, that one's done. Right, do we have another pump to put down? Yes, we do. Okay. So don't forget, we should use some of them in the glass desert. Yeah, I'm, since there seems to be a limit on putting down six at a time, and hello there, we can put down three in the uh, area where they get specific items, and three in the desert. Already two in there. Okay. 
Uh, we can check the apiaries through the portal. And yeah, the drill will have to move around a bit more. It reminds me of a thing. I think you should follow here. Don't throw stones in a glass desert. Okay, we could build one of these, but there's not too much use to it at the moment, because we'd need drones to automate that. Or, well, we'd want drones to automate that. And they're on a path to their own course again. Okay, these I'm just going to pull along. Actually... We're going to check the drill. We're going to pour the drill now. No, not the drill, not the drill. First, we're checking the apiaries. Okay, what? Oh, that was a novice one. That's why it, uh, it just imploded in on itself. <laughs> um, I thought I... Yeah, these two here. These are going to stay a little longer, because they're advanced ones. These three, though, they might vanish. Yep, there we go. And that opens up space for us to put some in the desert. And yeah, we should be able to make another drone or two with this. Not really, really sure what we use Buzzwax for. Candles? It's likely construction stuff. And yeah, we have plenty for these. Actually, we can make a few of them. One, two... Okay, we need more jelly stuff. Hmm. Where to put these then? Because we can't put any, down any more here. As you can see with this. Yep, prayed out. Drone limit reached. Uh, can we make... Yep, we can make the blue teleporter. Silky sand. That, that must be from the desert. Uh, that would make sense. Um, there's no reason to put drones in there. But we're moving through there anyways, because we need to get to the drill. And we should have a few extra to put down. It's silk is an actual thing. You know what? Silk is silk. Oh, silk. Um, not really, even really sure. I know it's a thing in Pokémon as an object that you can give to Pokémon. I'm pretty sure it's not really a thing in real life. I mean, actually used for things, but I forgot what. But I think I, like a, uh, I know of one. There, I know that sand, or a certain type of sand, is used to uh, clean chinchillas. Because they're. Where is. That chinchillas, I think it is, because their fur is uh, too dense or something. That if you were to wash it with water, then you'd never get the water out again. Oh bloody heck! Basically, yeah. you you would kill a chinchilla under its own weight if you uh, washed it with water. Makes you wonder why does a heck it doesn't have a pen of fur? I think chinchillas are desert creatures originally. I might be completely wrong there. Likely am. Oh, good shit that up. And also, I feel like I remember that all some certain sounds are used for machines and other things, and you need to have a very fine quality. If you just use a random sound, you may actually break something. Yeah. Uh, we have two apiaries, but let's put those down in the desert instead. And we'll want to make... Uh, yeah, let, let's just see if how many drills and pumps we can make and set those down in the desert somewhere. All right. Actually, I don't think we put many of these in the refinery. So let's do that right now. 
Okay. Actually, we could set up a drone if we if we made one of those refinery links. We could put one down there, and then basically tell a drone to uh, to get to gather ports and put those in the refinery link. So it would automatically add them to the refinery here. Okay. Let's see. You should have put one. Thanks. Let's see. We can make another. So let's just do that. Uh, Ingmanian spirals in strange diamonds. Okay. Are there any other colors of teleporting that we can buy? Warp deposit. Uh, med station. Not really. This would be a lot more useful if your health didn't already regenerate. And just for <laughs> We could make it so we not uh, got our max health yet, perhaps. I, I think that every time we hit maximum health, that it's uh, well, it takes some. It takes a bit to start up the regeneration. So I guess uh, I guess uh, net stations could be useful for that. We're just instantly starting to heal instead of having to wait. Uh, okay. yep. uh, so do I have enough uh, chickens for Bob? Yeah. Wonderful. And we, we should still be within the time limit. Yep. Okay. Voila. And we can put these away. Already a new call. Ah, oh, Victor. Okay, what do you want? Two fire slimes and 11 pinks. Okay, we can get the pinks right outside here. And well, we can grab two paint, uh, two fires. Uh, from what I thought, this one is done. Do you almost call the fire slimes or oh, pink slimes paint slimes? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, get rid of those. Mm. Let's, let's just grab a bunch of pinks for the requests. And we'll grab this after. We want 11. And once we, re we fill his request, we should get access to his uh, mini game. We, not that. That is really useful. Okay. 11 pink to fire. Mm, short. Okay. Just grab this stuff here before it despawns because it's quite useful. And that's. Yep. Hello. Oh, gone. <laughs> Insert okay, okay. do music. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. me. I have a joke for you. Hmm? What's a snake's favorite TV show? No clue. <laughs> Monty Python. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I actually haven't <laughs> seen much Monty Python myself. And those are still here. Okay. I think you, I think you would like them. Yeah, I've heard plenty about it, but I've never. I don't think I've ever seen a full uh, thing of theirs. Like I've seen enough. <laughs> I've seen enough of it uh, in fragments everywhere else on the internet. So I have a good idea of what kind of uh, humor eh? they are, like big as dick is and such. Well, there are actually empire, entire episodes of uh, Monty Python's Fine Circus on YouTube. 
Do something seems to be done like a, a more older version of uh, how you defend yourself against fruit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, it usually helps a tiger, but the ones I found only now recently, they removed the tiger for some reason. And okay. yeah, you, 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 to defend yourself against someone armed with strawberries, you release a tiger. Yeah, from what I know, uh, Monty Python is all about British absurdist humor. Yeah, but they did actually well. Though, what actually is a fun thing. As a kid, I did not like them. As a very young kid. They, I think I even got a, a bit afraid from uh, the life of Brian as a very young kid. Because okay. of the alien there. But uh, how old was I when I stopped to like them? Yeah, I don't think I stopped to like the Python until I was in... Uh, I was about 14 or something? So, yeah. Okay, I think I can say that Monty Python is probably not for kids. Or... Yeah, yeah, they did not be pretty crude. They're very crude. <laughs> It can get really crude. Yeah, as well also very confusing fast. Yeah, a fun thing about that whole uh, biggest dickest skit is uh, well, the, the two guards, I can hear myself echo on your end. Uh, the, the, the two guards that uh, one of the actors approaches there, they were specifically told that if they if if they that they had to be serious, that if they if they laughed, they wouldn't get paid. So that that is why they they're do, trying their best not to crack up. <laughs> Come on, that's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it got a genuine reaction out of them, and that was what it was all about. They're both geniuses. Yeah, I, I really, I think we need to send these guys out a bit before they end up piling up. They're only inflated. Oh, yeah, that's why he inflated. <laughs> okay, let, let's remove it one of you. Just one? You think it will help to remove just one? Maybe. <laughs> Part of me wants to see how far we can fill this thing up with plorts alone. You want a plort off? Uh, let's get enough here again, and we can get two of all of each of the advanced extractors. Okay. We have the teleporters, of which we're going to put down here. Okay. And now for the final time, we're going to... We're going on the long way. No, we don't have to go the long way. We can... First, we have mail. Priorities. This should be the mail that gives us access to Victor's lab. Oh, it's a good time for, to probably... Oh, uh, wait, this is morning. Let's see. Miss Lebeau, I, I have heard of your accomplishments here on the far, far range. You seem to be very capable, quick thinking, and able to adapt to new conditions. Exactly the kind of person I need for my latest project. Should you find this proposal agreeable, I have activated a teleporter in your lab to my undersea workshop. I hope to see you soon. Sincerely, Victor Humphreys. Yes, should you accept this offer, I propose we refer to each other in a casual manner going forward. A reduction in formality will expedite every future interaction that relies on dialogue. In short, uh, may I please refer to you as Beatrix? <laughs> yeah, he has a bit of a stick up his ass, but not in a bad way. He is just formal. And I get the feeling that's not going to go away until... Yeah, that's not going to go away until we go over here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this should allow us access to the third minigame, which I already named is the Slimulation. Let's see, Victor's Workshop, no chickens or carrots, only slimes. And also, let's take a moment to think what he has said here. On 
undersea lab. Yeah. <laughs> He's the only a few steps city. away from an evil genius. Kind of, he, they somehow succeeded to make a lab in the slime sea. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't technically be too bad hard. You could just, uh, well, you have an end. You have a teleporter, or at least one teleporter for an entrance. The rest of the lab could just be lowered in from the from the surface. I guess, though, it would be sort of scary. Uh, there it is, Victor's workshop. Deep below the slime sea, Victor's workshop is one part laboratory, one part ranch that Victor the Pelop and Victor the Pelop developed himself. The workshop houses his slimulation system that is currently filled with bugs and technical glitches and in need of further testing. Because of this, Victor has moved on to an unknown new project somewhere on the far far range, or at least he's a partner to help troubleshoot the slimulation. Though the workshop's undersea nature provides a dramatic effect, it is an extremely practical decision in that the slime seed provides a natural cooling system for the tremendous amount of heat the slimulation generates. This natural warming effect on the slime sea is a top priority of Victor's, and he has stated that if he cannot reduce slimulation heat output significantly in the near future, he will shut the entire project down for fear of harming the natural environment. Okay, so he is a good guy. Just very informal. Yeah. And I've come to learn that we could get access to these, uh, to these, <clears throat> what is that over there? If, basically, if we score high enough in, or if you, if we accumulate enough points in each of these minigames, we will gain access to the rest of the, the ranches that they offer. So we could set up uh, another, yeah, another production here and some more slimes and such. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, that doesn't that really doesn't look even on the left. Hello, Beatrix. Thank you for taking the time to assist me with this project. It is a matter of great importance that is something. My apologies. I'm in the middle of some uh, delicate work, and I sometimes forget I'm wearing my immersion field. Now then, the matter at hand. I need some assistance testing an in-development simulated reality of the far far range. I'm attempting to use this simulation to predict slime behaviors and evolution. Alternatively, you could call it a slimulation. <laughs> Doesn't he look proud of himself? <laughs> hmm, I had calculated the response of at least a mouth chuckle to it from that world play. But no matter, let's proceed. My slimulation is an infinitely complex project that could be the key to understanding slimes on a level we've never dreamed. However, it is sadly riddled with bugs. Well, not bugs per se. Technically speaking, they are a flawed simulation of a slime that has discovered a way to replicate. Fascinating in its own right, but very much disrupting my studies. I call these entities glitch slimes, and I need you to help me collect them for study. Here's how it works. Enter the slimulation and begin exploring. Your goal is to collect glitch slimes which will automatically be turned into bug reports upon exiting the slimulation. However, this is easier said than done. Glitch slimes have exhibited a curious behavior of conforming to their su uh, surroundings, perhaps to avoid detection from me? It is not clear. Refocusing the discourse, glitch slimes will look like normal slimes and objects within the environment, though something is usually off about them. To reveal them, vac them up, uh, vac up the suspicious slimes and use my handy dandy debug spray on suspicious objects in the environment. So basically this is like prop hunt then. <laughs> As a reward for your efforts, I'll grant you manifold cubes, a special multi-purpose resource I invented which you can use for fabricating a unique gadgets from the blueprints you'll find in the slimulation, including the advanced drone. And as we conclude each major phase of our work, I'll, grant you, I'll also grant you additional rewards, but more on those later. My research oh, has determined that adding mystery to reward mechanisms incentivizes participants to try harder. <laughs> AKA loot box systems. <laughs> oh, and this is really not terribly important, and I'm certain it's quite near, nearly on the control, but... 
due to a data corruption in the simulation, there will uh, there will reach a point where tar-like entities will begin appearing and taking over the simulation, and you should really get out right away. When this occurs, I'll be sure to signal a beacon on the first available location where you can safely log out. Just follow the exit markers when you see them, they'll lead you to an exit portal. Okay, great. Glad you have no questions at all, especially about that last bit. So let's get to work. Okay. Oh dear. And um, well, fact, you reminded me something about the prop punk that I seen. That's just damn pure skill. Hmm, what then? Someone was trolling uh, the hunters in Prop Hunt by stalking them, and they never realized they were stalked by a winning machine. <laughs> like a, a, a soda can or such you could understand, but an entire freaking vending machine? How would you not notice that moving around? Yeah, they, they kept behind them, stood still, they just were so skillful. Yeah, you have a video of that, that share that, okay? It's old video, so I do not remember who, which YouTuber did it. But if I do mm. find them, I will link you them. But yeah, it, I, it were. It I didn't don't know think there would have been the C nanners. Well, it might have been with the uh, manga means, I, I think. I had to Hello. see that. So I don't know, good gods, when he did realize he was be being stalked by this person. It was not until when, you know, the timer ran out <laughs> and they left. Okay. The Slimulation. Virtually better than the real thing. The Slimulation is an in-development virtual recreation of the Far Far Range created by Victor Humphreys. The goal of the Slimulation is to predict slime behaviors and evolution, but unfortunately it is riddled with bugs in the code base which have produced a curious anomaly known as Glitch Slimes. Victor is now seeking a partner to enter the Slimulation, wrangle slime glitches out of hiding and file valuable bug reports. Okay. Uh, yeah, just this... <laughs> this Pixel sound. Wait for an exit. To exit the slimulation, you need to wait for a teleport to activate. Okay. Okay, that one had to. Oh, hello there. Get in here. Glitch slime. If you're reading this inside the slimulation, how do you know it's real? Glitch slimes are formed from a bug in the code base of Victor's slimulation of the far far range. Though a wholly digital entity, thus these slimes could easily be considered real within the limits of the world they inhabit. Glitch slimes do not seek out food like physical slimes, instead they seem to be expanding to every corner of the slimulation, driven by some unknown purpose. Though glitch slimes pose no direct threat and danger to a ranger, uh, their mischief, the mischievous in nature can make for a hazardous uh, can make for hazardous situations when attempting to wrangle them. Glitch slimes will take the form of other slimes, distinguishable only by the inaccurate face they present. Backing them up or using debug spray will reveal their true form. Additionally, a glitch slime can take the form of objects commonly found in the far far range. If you're familiar with the real range, look for objects like rocks and trees that don't seem to belong. Again, prop on. A splash of deep rock spray can reveal many glitch slimes in disguise. The glitch slime does not uh, display any drive to eat the simulated food of the slimulation, and so no known plorts exist. However, if glitch slime plorts did exist, they would be virtual like everything in the slimulation and have no actual value. Unless, of course, a bunch of people decided if virtual plorts have value and then maybe everyone would start buying them. Heck, maybe yes, eventually glitch slime plorts would be worth a fortune because a bunch of us just agreed on that too. And then we all created our own slime relations to generate glitch uh, slime plorts. But if that happened, then we would all be using an absurd amount of real energy harming our real environment further, all to generate virtual plorts. So obviously that's a very silly AI thing and we never do that. AKA Bitcoin. No, oh, we do not want to throw you away. Alright. Now, debug spray, is that just going to be water or something? Okay. What, what, oh, 
this must be debug brain. Yep. Okay. Let's show your face. a bunch of them. Don't hear you. They're fast as run well. Away! Run away! Bravely run away! That thought so. Yeah, I saw it. I think I saw the rock flicker for a second. We're getting a good amount of these already. Though for the advanced drones, I read on the wiki that we'd need 460 of these little bastards. Yeah, another Ooh, big one. Speed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that <laughs> totally impossible. Another big one. Yeah, come here, you. Wouldn't take as long as I originally thought it might take, since the other mini games go quite, you know, go re get back here, go reasonably slow with everything. Yep. This and looks uh, like it would go a lot faster. Yeah, I, I can't imagine as long as you get up to 50 per time, it shouldn't be take too long. Yeah. Well, for the, does this have time? It does have a timer, yeah, as eventually those tars will spawn. What? I, I think I was on top of a bunch of slimes as they spawned there. Yep, come here, you. And I see you. Slash seems to specifically have their backs to us when they spawn. Just so we have to double check, and I spawn the deaths right away. Ah! Back to you. And that's another derpy one. Oh gosh, I just realized something. Hmm, what then? Uh, it's the you that's gonna be hard me to do. But you probably get it. When I say the title. Slime Buster. <laughs> if we could sing, probably I would be singing a parody of that song now. It's... I, I probably could write a simple parody, but singing it... Yeah, I think people heard me try to sing. It's not good. Oh, what is... Oh, that must be the tar starting... To... Yep. The slimes are running away. Uh, yep, there's the Taurus. We probably can carry more than 50 per, per time. What? Yeah. Uh, let's just keep looking around as far as we can. We know there's an exit. Uh, we know there's an exit where the first Gordo was. Debug. Didn't expect it would. Uh, oh, they're already here as well. Didn't expect Over. they to uh, go this far with this. Uh, it's Over. probably just only the, the dry reef that uh, they have. Follow the beacons to run away. Okay. Now, 51 is a good amount, yeah. And this was just oop, the first time. We have no need for a virtual chickadoo. No nope, error, error, error. Uh, uh, where is the uh, out of energy? Uh, can I? Yes, I can destroy them with that. Luckily enough. That's damn good. I was about to kill you both with the people destroying you. Out of here. <laughs> what the? You lost. You lost some slimes to them. Okay, we got uh, four less. 
Okay. Let's see. Hello again. I hypothesize that you're seeking another summary of how to engage with the simulation. Uh, okay, just basically a summary of what to do. Uh, okay, let's just hand those in. And what is our first reward here? It's one of those cubes. Okay. Oh, at 100 we get whatever that is. Okay. Manifold cube. The manifold cube is an invention of slime scientist Victor Humphreys. He developed manifold cubes in order to save time, as manifold cubes contain traces of thousands of unique materials, and minerals, and compounds, one of which can be activated by a fabricator to transform the whole manifold cube into the selected material. Okay. Mochi once offered Victor a fortune in new box for the formula to creating new manifold cubes, but he politely declined. Following this, Victor noted several attempts to hack his data server. When Victor asked Mochi to comment on the incident, she politely declined. Okay. okay let's stick those in there. I think those are needed for the drones. So, if, if we get one for every 20, then by the time we'd have access to the advanced drones, we would have about 23. Okay. Oh, we're out of water now because of this. Hmm. Well, because of that, so... Hmm. Maybe we could put up a pond somewhere to act as a better refill. And yeah, just keeping a... Just keeping two roosters with every... with them seems to really increase the amount at which the, the chickens breed. Ready, someone something new? Uh, let's see what Bob wants. Yeah, they want chicken again, of course. Stony, rooster, and painted. Okay, we have an extra here. Not really worth the stuff, but okay. And after this, we have about 10 minutes left, so let's go put down it. I thought there was a hunter here for a second, but no, it's the lamp. Uh, yeah, after that, we go put down the teleporter in the glass desert, as well as a few extractors. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And enough briar hands to keep it going as well. And here is just normal ones. Nope, normal and stony. Okay, uh, painted. And these we just deposit. And I missed. So, I just realized something uh, that you should probably take care of. And that is? Your water. Yeah. Um, let's see. And the root throw. Um, bring those in there, and then we're going to pick these up before we forget. Because we have that dervish slime still. Alright. And then we head to the teleporter, go through the ruins again, and yeah, I I think one, I think 91 fruits should be enough to satisfy this thing. But we'll have to see. Yeah, let's be hypothetical. What if it, it is not enough? And then we have to go get more <laughs> again. It wants fruit, so yeah, mango, lemon, cuberry. Uh, in the next area, we'd only be finding raised lemons. Hmm. 
And we yeah, we we still haven't found the prickly pears. And this time I'm not forgetting. Or I am forgetting something else. Slimes here. And hmm. wait, not here. Yeah, we got an we got something when the uh, when the tar glitches attacked us. Or was that just the entire system's the the slimepedia glitching out on it or something? Uh, good question. I didn't see an entry, so I'm guessing it was the slimepedia glitching, being unable to uh, identify it all. Actually, would it be faster to go this way if we don't fall down? That is. What we could do with you? Okay. Yeah, I, I think this is <laughs> this uh, goes through it straight instead of having to go all the way around. <laughs> yeah, we we were wasting a few minutes just going around. Oh well, we learned that, and we're going to put down a teleporter anyways. Yep, and, and now you have to apologize to the viewers. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, wasting everyone's time a bit. And this this is time, open. you have to apologize to them while beating on your knees. Now, if I did that, I'd be out of sight of the camera anyways. And yeah, I forgot to put the elder in his uh, up with the rest. Since the teleporter here goes both ways, we can yeah you know, we can put our teleporter on either end. Okay. Let's see where is the nearest. It'll, it'll take a bit of walking back and forth to get to the ruins again. And we have space yeah. there, we have space there. Yeah, well, we have the moment of the map. Hmm. Here. I have three down there. Okay, let's put down the teleporter here, closest to the other one. Install. And then we put down... These one two three four and then five and six. Okay. Oh, the dervish is up, up to something again. And now we're going to climb again. Um, beating the dervish border is probably going to be the last thing for tonight. Oh no! Hmm? I think I also had a ton of me and another partner for the dervish slimes. <laughs> okay, what then? I think basically I know. I think I know what the, the favorite the favorite song is. What then? Here I am, spinning like a hurricane. No, rocking like a hurricane. Uh, it, it fits. <laughs> okay. I need you a laborious behemoth. Stop that. smiling while I feed you. It's disturbing. Okay, that was 50 specific, 50, yeah, that was specifically 50. Uh, wait, no key? Uh, there's the key. Get out of the way. There we go. And, oh, there go, they're going after the fruit that I missed. What is that? Buzzwax, what, what's Buzzwax doing here? 
Okay, one of the crates had that. Okay, that's not the first time. Uh, it, actually, it, it would be better if it had, you know, trickled the peer. Okay, let's just slime fossil. And then we have. Is that a mosaic? Let's see. Glitch ornament. Okay. And a tabby question mark ornament. Okay, that's coming with. Uh, yeah, now we just bail. And now it's time for this green Farno! Wait, what's wrong with this dog? That was a song, yeah, and it kind of fits with the mosaic slimes because they, well, they look like a disco ball. Yeah, I'm more like, I put the stuff all on the ground there. I don't know if it was or what. Uh, if it was, then I missed it. Well, it was a lot. Uh, probably the phase lemons that I was firing all over the place. It was red. Okay, then I'm not sure. Yeah, it, it, it's, if it was yellow, I I could have said, oh, face lemons, but... I don't know whether I saw Plort or Dewberries or what. Okay. Let's put these two here and... Uh, any mint here? No, there's no mint lemons app. Mint mangoes left here. Mint lemons. Thank you yeah. for the disgusting combination. Uh, prefer to, no, prepare for the explosion. <laughs> okay, just grabbing these and then these. And I'm just going to switch them around. Remove props. And then put these here. Then we tell these to each go for fruit and vegetables. Veggies, gardens, and then the corals. And you, fruits, gardens, corals. There we go. That should have oh, yeah. the feeding of these two. And leave the chickens alone. Alright, people, behold a alien makes a mistake. How then? Tell me, what happened with the rock tabbies? Oh, yeah, they, <laughs> they overfilled their coral. Yeah, I don't want one drone that only focuses just on them. What do you think happened when you have two drones focusing on the same thing? Uh, veggies, fruits. These should get the vegetables from here, which is actually what they're getting right now, carrots. And is it going after the onions, or is it going to take a stop first? And then this one will take... The, the mint mangoes and feed them to the hunters. Yeah, in the other area, one, slime, one of the drones had to feed two pens, so they had to distribute it a bit uh, now and then. It's not the case. They are all feeding a separate pen, and it's gonna be chaos. Oh, then uh, we better keep. Yep, then we better keep an eye on the place. <laughs> Yeah, I try to not make enough floor to climb out. Yeah, they they both have a net on them, and that's the two-hour mark. It's good. Yeah, next time I think. Next time I think we'll mix up the tangles with the quantums. Uh, the. Yeah, that, that'll keep them happy because they now have quant. They now have face uh, lemons, which they also like. And yeah, then we can go look up whatever is beyond. You know, what is beyond the glass deserts? 
Though before we finish, I'd say we take one more look at our extractors. Or at least the easily accessible ones. Okay. Good load. I hope I expect that the, the next area probably be uh, Slimetopia? Uh, if there is a next area, because I, I think it, it looks like there's another teleporter here. So I'm thinking that might be the, the just the end of the game. Hmm. Yep, yeah, but I don't know that it has an end uh, credit scene and all. Yeah, we'll have to see. I have to see. I've seen it. Uh, there we could have changed since uh, early access. Yeah. Okay, we have these two. But, uh, I'm not I think I don't remember the accept that I get even emotional during it. I read something about a last letter by Casey or something. Oh. Yeah. When we get to that letter, I think you should prepare napkins then. Yeah, I, I doubt it would get that bad. Well, for me at least. Uh, we'll have to see. Yeah, well, it's, it's, we're getting to clean I, up a bit more. The yeah, dentistry. I probably don't need it. So here's the odd thing I know about the clean. It's easier for me to try raw thing than try sad. And I don't know why. Uh, I wouldn't guess. Oops. And yeah. So we got the, we found the Gordo, the, the second Gordo in the desert. We've set up some extractors there to see whatever that might dig up. We got access to Victor's laboratory. Uh, we revitalized more of the deserts, but not all yet. Uh, there, is, there is one more. There is that another mechanism over here ish. Yeah, there's another. There's a fountain down there that we'll have to check out. So that is up for next time, as well as seeing whatever is in here. So next week might be the last time of the Slime Rancher story uh, stream. We might we might go back to this game every now and then just to see what might happen when we try something like uh, the depots and such and the hydro cannons and may maybe we could just uh, set a few of these in the grotto uh, put a few of the largos as uh, aside and then just feed them uh, a bunch of other plorts just to see how quickly these turrets might deal with a bunch of tar <laughs> <laughs> like a turret defense game? Yeah. <laughs> Thus has me curious what other mini games uh, Monomi Park, the developer, might come up with for Slime Rancher 2, because we are de we are definitely uh, we're definitely going to stream that game when it comes out. Nice. But yeah, for now though, anyone who has been watching now or later, thank you for watching and thank you especially to Vakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, tomorrow, something Sunday for two to four games that we try to see if they're any good for streaming. And uh, yeah, next week, more Darksiders. I, th I think in the next week we will finish up with Darksiders 1 and then we'll move over to the other stream, or to the other series that uh, I'm planning to stream for all of this. Uh, in the other series that I'm planning to stream in between the Dark Shadows games, if that makes more sense. Basically, uh, series A, then series B, series A, series B, series A, series B. Series C, series D, series E. Uh, okay, I get it. But yeah, that's until next time. But until then, until then. Be safe, folks. <laughs> <laughs>